This weather is unfortunate. Those villagers were right when they said a storm was brewing. But they were more afraid of an attack than they were of the storm. Let's end this quickly. The thieves have taken Conan Tower as their base. There it is in the distance. Miklon must be more skilled than your average thief to have overtaken a place like that. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago, when invasions from the north were at their peak. This tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You know your history, Gilbert. If I recall correctly, you're from the kingdom, aren't you? I left my home long ago. If you have any questions about the mission, I'd be happy to answer them. House Gautier has always placed great importance on whether or not someone bears a crest. Margrave Gautier has two sons. A crest never manifested for his eldest. It's not hard to imagine why he left and wound up in this sort of life. There's no reason that crests should have the power to dictate someone's destiny. Don't you agree, Gilbert? He was just another victim of cruel fate. Forsaken by the goddess, who now demands his execution. The enemy is close. They have nowhere left to flee, so the situation is in our favor. All we have to do is chase them down. The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. I will prevail. Stay focused. That's my cue. Oh, no. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I will get the victory. As you wish. Put me in there. Yeah! 
are not. in trouble. Hurry up, you fools! Enemies approach from the low... <laughs> Only a fool challenges me. As expected. Cannot lose.
we go. That's... It's an ambush. Should I have held back? Failure is not an option. I've got many skills, you know. I'd rather be napping. What a jump. Always nice. battle a chance to grow. You are nothing. This...
as expected. You fought well. was beneath me. Should I have held back? Sometimes. You think you can take the lance from me, huh? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you!
Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. Fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. An evil power has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. You cannot win unless you fell them twice, or even thrice. Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. See that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight that thing. A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more quickly. If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go, and that will likely cause confusion for that thing. It cannot counter while confused, which means that is the best time to attack. If you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to move for a short while. Without the power flowing around them, they will not be able to restore their barriers. You might even be able to get something from them. They have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion could prove useful on that front. Attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. Be on your guard when they have realized their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be restored. You really must pay close attention to those things. Distract them with a gambit, or just take them down before they can attack. In any case, Think carefully before you act. But you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! Such is the fate of one whose life is corrupted by a crest stone. How pitiable. The least we can do is put an end to his suffering. Yeah. <laughs> 
be mindful. Goddess, the beast is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It is done. Let's retrieve the Lance and depart at once. man. His form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Upon that sight, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. If someone without a crest were to wield the relic you possess, they would likely meet the same fate as Miklon. You, however, have been chosen. You are worthy of wielding the sword of the Creator, so there is no need to worry. The Church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. I assume the Archbishop was pleased with your performance. Did you return the Lance of Ruin? I keep thinking about what Gilbert told us. Yes. Miklon was discarded by his family because he was born without a crest. Eventually, he became a masterful thief and gathered enough ruffians to capture a fortress. Right or wrong, he was a gifted leader. He could have been a great asset to Fodlan. What a waste! It's true that a crest can increase your magical abilities and allow you to wield the full might of a hero's relic. But one cannot measure a leader's worth based solely on whether or not they bear a crest. There are plenty of talented people in this world without one. People believe crests are blessings from the goddess, that they're necessary to maintain order in Fodlin. But the people are wrong. Crests are to blame for this brutal, irrational world we live in. Their power is granted only to a select few, whom we elevate and allow to rule the world. Have you ever wondered if the only way to create a truly free world is to dispense with the goddess and the crests? Do that, and people will have no choice but to rise and fall by their own merits. Lady Edelgard, I question whether you revealed too much to the professor. Perhaps I did. 
It is true that our teacher possesses a rare talent. Even I cannot deny it. The ability to wield the Sword of the Creator is concerning. I've already explained this to you. My power alone is insufficient. That's why I'm borrowing power from those people. If our teacher can wield it in my stead, I believe that would be for the best. It's a risk. A dangerous one. You leave me no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Please excuse me. <sighs> I can't hide from the truth. I can't do all that I must on my own. If all I can rely on is my own ambition, my path won't be easy. Is it so risky to reach out my hand? Father, I swear I will not stop until I succeed. My regret, my grief, my whole life, I've thrown it all away into the darkness. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. Part 1. White Clouds. Horsebow Moon. Rumors of a Reaper. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlan welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. Hello, Professor. May I speak with you? You seem to hold Edelgard in high esteem. That is my impression, at least. Hmm. She is certainly talented. No doubt about that. But I wonder, what is your opinion of me? I am quite talented too, am I not? Be honest. Do not hold back. Pretend that I am just a regular person, not the scion of a noble house. Evenly matched? Me? With her? I was just being modest before. Honestly, I have always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard. But evidently, that is not your perspective. Hmm. I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence! Precisely. You cannot stop me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. You think I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Not likely. Come, Professor. We will begin with battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. 
I heard that just the other day, she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. Professor, you can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Here we go! Two at once? That's... well, it will be fine. I can't do it! It seems you have saved my life. I... Thank you, Professor. Oh, it's you. Out late again, I see. What brings you here? I just wanted some fresh air. There's a lovely breeze tonight. I always wander outside when sleep evades me. So I see. Still, it's ill-advised to stay out so late. I should get some sleep too, but... Have you ever felt a sort of longing for the outdoors? I have. There are times I long for the warmth of the sun, for a sweet breeze on my face. Do you remember what I told you the other night? About my past? None of my siblings had a chance to lead the sort of life they deserved. An ordinary life. My siblings and I were... We were imprisoned underground, beneath the palace. The objective was to endow our bodies with the power of a major crest. I have always possessed the Crest of Saros, inherited through the Hressfeld bloodline. But it was only a minor crest, and most of my siblings bore no crest at all. In order to create a peerless emperor to rule Fodlin, they violated our bodies by cutting open our very flesh. Now here I stand, the fruit of that endeavor, Edelgard von Hressfeld. But that came at too high a price. The others were sacrificed. Ours weren't the only lives devastated by that terrible process. Innocents died as well, without even knowing what they were dying for. And there you have it, the truth of the Hressfeld's empire. The Prime Minister and his gaggle of nobles. They had the Empire under their thumbs. My father, the Emperor, tried to stop him, but it was futile. My father was nothing but a puppet on a string by then. He was powerless to save us. I know how it all sounds, but when you see my true strength, you will know I speak the truth. I have kept it hidden all this time, but I will reveal to you the power of my second crest. It is the same as yours, the Crest of Flames. When it manifested for me, I swore a silent oath. For the sake of my family, and for all the poor souls whose lives were traded for my existence. For their sake, I will build a world where such meaningless sacrifice is never again sanctioned. As Emperor, I will change the world. I swear it. <laughs> As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flame has gone missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrig Mach. Flame is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The Knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. 
They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flane. The Knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. Flane has gone missing? Most unsettling. It doesn't seem likely that she simply got lost. I'll help in any way that I can. So, our mission this month is to find her? Well then, let us hurry and locate her before anyone else. I hope Flane is okay. What would happen if... Just what would we do if... <gasps> you can't think like that, Burn. Sedeth would have a heart attack if he heard you. I've heard that she has a crest, but I suppose for this moment that is irrelevant. We'll start by gathering information. Someone must have seen Flame recently. Right. If we work together, I'm certain we'll find her. I have gratitude.
Just one small girl who's gone astray has caused all this. We cannot let this stand. You must do all you can to find out where she's gone. Now ask around to see what information you can find. Come now, no time to waste. You're up for a challenge. Hello? We must begin our search for Flame, Professor. If she ran off of her own free will, that's her business. But that may not be the case. For her sake, I suggest we assume that she was abducted and begin an investigation. Who benefits from kidnapping her? Let's gather all the information we can on anyone who's been acting strangely. I have a favor to ask. missing where could she be if it were an ordinary kidnapping you'd think there'd be a demand for rent i bet flame ran away she couldn't stand being held back by sedith any longer i can empathize i know what it's like to have an overbearing big brother hmm. if flame were taken hostage i expect perhaps this is not a kidnapping at all do you suppose she could have simply... What could it be then? What possible motive could there be to abduct her? Right, right. Flane? No, I haven't seen her. She's been abducted. Oh, you're looking for her. Sorry, my mind was somewhere else. I just, if it was a, oh, no.
flame. I just recently learned she, if it was a particularly rare crab. Oh no. Do you really think Flame was kidnapped? I have a feeling you're right. Oh, I'm already having so much fun in my current. Flame was childnapped. That is what you are thinking? And the villain is inside our monastery? Hmm. I must have admittance. One person has been catching my eye. Shamir is a knight not like other knights. Her movements are being reminders of... No. They remind me of warriors of Bridget. Before she was here, what was she getting up to? Professor, have you seen Manuela? I saw her running off somewhere in a terrible hurry. I wonder if it has anything to do with Flane's disappearance. Do you know, Professor? Oh, yes. Didn't you know? She was the senior diva in our opera company. Professor! Professor! I saw him. A knight wielding a gigantic scythe. He was just like the rumors say. All covered in jet black armor. It was the Death Knight! I just know it. You don't think he has something to do with Flane's disappearance? He... she's really been kidnapped? I hear Tomas has been going around asking about her. But he's probably just worried like the rest of us. Though it wasn't just Flane. He was asking about you and Captain Gerald, too. Hey, I hope we get a chance to practice together when you find the time. I know I'm in a different class, but you're the only other person here who's learned from Captain Gerald. delicate maiden vanishing into thin air? It is like something out of a book. If it were a book, we would have no need to worry. She would be rescued presently by a dashing nobleman. Do you have any idea as to where she might be? Where she might have wandered off to? Hmm, the greenhouse. I did not think of that. I will take a look around there later. Please, do me a favor. Oh, you're looking for Flane's kidnapper. I can't say anything for sure, but I do have suspicions about Yuritsa. There's something about how he's handling his blade lately. It seems more impulsive than usual. It couldn't hurt to try speaking with him at least. At this hour, I think you'll find him sparring with Catherine at the training grounds. Join me for some training sometime. I might like to become your student someday. But not today.
hope Flain isn't going hungry. If someone really kidnapped her, I'll never forgive them. Now that I think about it, I saw Aloise hanging out by the pond not too long ago. He was always getting into trouble for trying to talk to Flane, you know? It's probably a crazy thought, but I'm starting to worry. Good to see you, Professor. I was just on my way to... Did you want to talk? What? Me? Abduct Flame? You can't really believe I did that! Oh, that's just because of my dumb jokes. She says that they're not very good. <laughs> but if I went around kidnapping everyone who said that, the whole monastery would be empty. Best what? Me? Well, this may sound silly, but I was too scared to even look. I couldn't bear the thought of finding her in its depths. Oh. What brings you here? I'm taking a break. Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. <laughs> True. Your point being? I understand that I don't fit in among the Knights of Seros, but that hardly links me to Flame's disappearance. Working hard, aren't you? I'll admit, I can assist with any tasks or help with your students. On it. I'm available anytime I'm not on a mission with the Knights. What brings you here? Is this about Flame? You find me sus- I was somewhere else, fighting. I understand that I don't fit in, but that hardly links me to Flame's disappearance. disappear like this. Sadath must be worried sick. I haven't much to go off of, and perhaps it's out of line for me to feel so uncomfortable. But something has been bothering me for a while about Gilbert. I feel as though I've met him somewhere before. I also noticed him staring intently at Annette once. Hmm. Hi, Professor. Did you need something? I've actually got plans. Maybe. Hey. I don't know if she ran off or got kidnapped or what. I just know that Flane's in trouble. That's it. I can't keep sitting around. I gotta go find her. Now where do I start? I don't know if that's it. I can't keep now where do I start? Professor! Young Flame's disappearance is most troubling. What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you who. A fool, that's who. Flame's crest, the major crest of Seth Lean, is rare, but there are others who possess it. Hmm. 
Did you hear about Flane? It's just one thing. Some of the lower-ranked knights are searching for her in the town. If they find anything, I'll know. What? Yuritsa? Hmm. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him today. What would make you suspect him? I see. Well, I'll let the knights know. inevitable. was inevitable. Is it? Is something the matter? I see. So, Flane has gone missing. I will do what I can to support the search. Hmm? It seems that you are a bit suspicious of me. Might I ask your reasons? It has been two decades since I last knew Gerald, yet he looks nearly identical to my memory of him. It is only natural to be curious, don't you think? I assure you, there is nothing more to it than that. There's something I will do. Mm -hmm. It's I was away from the monastery for a few years, but do not forget. I have spent more than four decades in total working here at Garrick Mark Monastery. Yet it was not until recently that I learned that Seteth has a sister. 
It is only natural to be curious, don't you think? I assure you, there is nothing more to it than that. Because of Flane's disappearance, all of the knights are searching non-stop. But we haven't found a single lead. Sedith's face is getting paler by the minute. It's hard to watch. What's that? You're looking for Manuela? Well, I did pass by her earlier. She was carrying something. A mask of some sort. I'm not close to the guy. So all I can ask. She would never have left the monastery of her own volition. Why is there not a trace of her to be found? I could count on you. Manuela? Mm. We'll have to speak with both of them. But where could Manuela be? Yuritsa is likely at the training grounds, or in his quarters on the eastern side of the Knights Hall. taken hostage. It would seem that your repu- It's a shame I am not in your class.
That's uh... hmm. Hello there. Professor. Would you kindly do something for me? I suppose it's rude to the cook if I don't eat. Hello. 
Professor? Lifesaver. I enjoy baking sweets, but I'm not sure how I'll do cooking other types of food. is much more exciting than studying or training. Anything to do with Flynn's? Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's eating time. Come on, let's dig in. Caspar, do develop table manners. Begin by chewing with your mouth closed. Especially when I'm around. Thank you, Lady Bernadetta. I will take my leave. Oh, good. Uh, bye! Uh, goodbye! Finally. Oh, that was awful. Just terrifying. me to show her around. I tried to be polite, but strangers are just so nerve-wracking. Oh yeah? How about when I first met you and I wouldn't come out of the corner, or even uncover my face? Actually, now that you mention it, it's funny. Once I started talking to you, I stopped feeling scared. I wonder why. You know, Professor, you might be the first person I've been able to speak to normally since I got here, and I have no idea why. I'm happy about it, too. When we first started out here, we had to do drills. Outside. I skipped those every chance I got. Terrible idea going out in the forest with all these people you don't even know. Thanks to you, though, I can actually make it through class now. I'm grateful for that. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay. I am okay. I'm doing just fine. I feel safe here, thanks to you. that you were watching me that crosses the line professor singing me why would i be singing i'd never be singing ah, i've never been so humiliated useless worthless unmarriageable ah!
It will be easier together. Happy to help. We did it, and without incident. I'm a quick study.